Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So it is currently 11 at night and I am filming. Yes, I got a ring light for Christmas. My boyfriend bought me a ring light. Shout out to you because this is literally the coolest thing ever. Normally I'd have to get ready really early in the morning, catch the midday sun and then by about half two I'd have to stop filming. So yeah, I'm much more of a night owl and I'm going off on a tangent so blah 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 blah. So I thought I'm not really a New Year's resolutions kind of gal because I just feel like if you want to make a change, you'll make it anyway in the year. But for me, 2017 has been a bit of a meh year. It's been a bit of a crappy, not crappy, because nothing really bad has happened, but like it's just been a year that nothing's really happened. So I just wanted to inspire myself and set myself some goals for 2018. And to make myself accountable, I am going to record them right here and put them up onto my YouTube channel so that I am accountable for myself. If you'd like to see my New Year's resolutions for 2018, then please keep on watching. Okay, so number one is, now this is like the most basic New Year's resolution ever. It's pretty much like 90% of people's New Year's resolution, but it is to go to the gym and step up on my fitness game. Yes, this year is the year of the snack. I've always had this like ongoing joke with all my friends and like everyone basically, that like every year was gonna be the year of the goddess. And when did I last say that? So 2016 was gonna be my year of the goddess. And it actually was, like I felt really comfortable in myself. I had toned up, lost a little bit of weight. And 2017, I kind of got an office job and I lost, lost my Sophie abs. I was luckily blessed with quite a good body frame. Like when I'm good to my body, my body does look great. When I'm not good to my body, I just, I get, I'm one of those people that just gets wide. I get wider and wider and wider. 2018, the plan is to look delicious. I want to go to the gym four times a week in the mornings before work and just eat a lot healthier. When I go to the gym, I'm just a much more of a happier person. It's not just about looking great as well. It's about feeling great, getting up in the morning and wanting to be motivated. And yeah, that is my plan for 2018. It's year of the snack. Which moves me very nicely on to my second New Year's resolution, and that is a little bit of a controversial choice for some people, but I am gonna go um, vegetarian for the month of January. A lot of my close friends and family know that I obviously gave up red meat probably about three years ago now. Um, I just watched a couple of documentaries and it just kind of made sense for me health-wise and environment-wise. And over the last, I'd say a good year, I've kind of been toying with giving up more of the meat products, so more of like the chicken and the turkey and fish, which is really, really upsetting because fish is my life and I literally live off prawns. For the month of January, I'm going to try and go vegetarian. So I am going to, I've already cut out, cut out red meat for a, a pretty long time and I don't miss it at all. I'm going to cut out chicken and turkey and fish. I already am not really a dairy eater. I don't ever drink milk. My one big thing is cheese. I eat a lot of cheese. So yeah, I'm just going to try and cut back on my animal products for the month of January and just see how I feel because I think I've got this like roadblock in my head that like, oh, I'm going to feel really weak without all that protein and blah, blah, blah. But I do feel like I've kind of gained the knowledge what to eat to supplement my body so that I don't feel like I'm lacking in energy. For January, I'm going to try to be vegetarian. I'm not gonna say that's gonna last for the whole of 2018, that would be the dream. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see how that goes along with going to the gym because I also would be interested to see how that's gonna work, cutting back on meat protein and trying to get some abs. So yeah, we're gonna try that out for January and see how we go. I'm sure I will update you guys on that. If you do want to see kind of like what I eat in a day, I know that's quite a popular thing on YouTube, then I would be more than happy to do that. Um, but yeah, so New Year's resolution number two, vegetarian. So New Year's resolution number three is a little bit more of a deep one. I'm just going to read out what I wrote down, which is continue to let go of people that do nothing for me. So what I mean by this, a little bit of a backstory, um, New Year's Eve last year, I made this like big statement to all my friends, because we were all kind of going through it a little bit, that I am no longer going to hold on to people 
that don't want to be in my life anymore. It's a, it's a hard one because when you reach 25, I think you probably, well this can happen at any point in your life, but for me definitely, when you reach your mid 20s, it's a proper like, it's a turning point in your life for so many things, for work, for friendships, for relationships, for family, and for friendships it was a big turning point because it was the proper realization of who I'm gonna have in my friendship group or just as a friend for the rest of my life. There was a lot of people that I felt like didn't want to be my friend anymore and I was putting all this energy and all my positivity into trying to hold on to these people when they actually just didn't really want to be my friend. So it got to this point where I had to say to myself in my head like why do you keep holding on to these people that don't want to hold on to you? I was always this person like even when I was really really young and people in my friendship group would meet up without me and I didn't know about it and it would like proper hit me like to my heart and I'd be like, what have I done? Like, why don't they like me? Whereas now it's just like, I just, it's not that deep. If you don't wanna be my friend, then I'm not gonna spend all my time and all my energy on trying to keep you. So yeah, that's something that I have carried on throughout 2017. I know it doesn't, it's not the most positive message, but I just think it's something that has kept my mental state more positive is by not keeping negative people in my life. So that is something that I would pass on to you guys and I hope that you take into your lives is don't hold on to people that bring you down. So yeah, New Year's resolution number three, let go of people that no longer do anything for you. I'm losing my voice. Resolution number four is to hold on and actually make sure that I nurture and Hello, love. Right, where was I? I feel like I've lost my flow now. Uh, resolution number four, make sure that I nurture and I care for my friendships that I truly value and are extremely genuine. Unfortunately, I am one of those people that I'm just rubbish at keeping in contact with people and I'm really, really bad with my phone and I know that sounds really bad as an excuse because if you really wanted to make something work then you would but I am just so rubbish at texting people back and it's something that is something that I'm adding to my list that I need to change I need to get better at getting back to people because what's going to happen is I'm going to lose genuine friendships that I truly truly care about just because for some reason maybe it's like a social anxiety thing maybe I'm just lazy, but something in me is just really, really bad at getting back to people. That's something I'm gonna change. Number four, making sure that I really, really look after my friendships. Um, and a little bit of like a story type thing. It was probably like a good year, year and a half ago where me and my friendship group, we were kind of going through quite a rough time and we were kind of arguing a lot, which had never really happened before ever. Like we never argued. Luckily, everything kind of worked itself out and we rebuilt the friendship and we're still best friends to this day. But the thought of actually losing that friendship would terrify me. And it's not like my previous re re resolution. It's not like my previous re <laughs> And it's not like my previous res res And it's not like my previous resolution where like they were a negative person or anything. It was just a situation and it got out of hand and we're all still really good friends to this day. And I'm really, really happy that that happened because if I had lost these people out of my life, I would have been devastated. So I think that really kind of taught me to really value the friendships that really are genuine and mean a lot to me. So if we have ever been friends and I have not replied to back to you, I apologize and I'm changing in 2018, I'm gonna be a better person. So New Year's resolution number five, and that is to, very cringy and very cliche, I know, but is to take more risks. I had a really safe 2017. I pretty much worked in an office job for the whole of it. I didn't really do much. I went on holiday once, and that's kind of it. Like, I can't really claim much to my year. Whereas 2016, like, so much happened for me. I quit a job that was making me absolutely miserable. I went self-employed. I saved up, like, four grand in the space of, like, two months. I went traveling to Southeast Asia with my cousin and literally had the best time of my life. I was in a new relationship. And, like, just all these amazing things happened in 2016. It was, like, a really up year for me. And then 2017, I just think I played it really safe and I didn't do anything. Like, I have nothing to claim for my year, apart from starting my YouTube. So for my fifth resolution, it is to take more risks, go with my gut, 
and just say yes to more opportunities. Do more things. Your gut is always right in the end, so trust it. And I just, yeah, I feel like I need to be a little bit more of a risk taker this year. Like, I need more to happen. Like, I'm not a person that likes to settle. I constantly like to kind of feel like I'm growing as a person and nurturing myself. So yeah, 2018. I'm gonna be a risk taker. Number six, a really boring one. I'm not gonna like focus on this one a lot, but is to work on my career. I've kind of explained this before in another video. So I was a professional dancer. I graduated from a musical theatre college in 2012 and I retired. <laughs> I know, ridiculous. I retired in 2016 when I went traveling. Um, and then last year, last year, this year, 2017, I took a full-time office job. And it's been really hard for me. I know everyone says this that used to be a performer, but I've really, really struggled because I've always been so used to constantly doing different things all the time. I was constantly doing really cool, exciting gigs one day. Next day I was working on a shop floor counter. Next day I would be giving out leaflets in the street, like, and then next day I would be performing at the O2 Arena on live TV. It was a really exciting career. It was really hard, don't get me wrong, but working in a corporate office role has really hit me hard. So for 2018, I'm gonna really work on my career, whatever it may be, and just really try and push myself into something that's gonna make me happy. Resolution number seven, this kind of relates back to my previous point, is I am going to go to more dance classes. Dance is something that always used to make me so happy, and it was like my safe place, and it was something that I used to do to like just kind of clear my head. Ever since I was old enough to go on a train by myself, I think I was like 15, I would spend all my pocket money on a ticket to London, I would then dance at Pineapple Dance Studios for as many classes as I could afford. That's what I did all weekend. Like I didn't see my friends, like I had no social life. So I have told myself that I am going to go to more dance classes just as a hobby this year. I want to aim to do two classes a month at least. So yeah, more dance this year. And my eighth, <laughs> my eighth and my last resolution is a bit of a cringy one, but it is to continue and to grow with this YouTube channel that I have set up um, a couple of months ago. It's something that I have really enjoyed doing. Like, I'm a visual person, I've always been a really visual person, and you can even ask any of my friends when we were younger. Me and my best friend used to like film each other singing on our little video, it was, well, little, I say it was about this big on our video recorder, and I would just like film everyone around the house. Like, it's just always been a thing that I've really enjoyed doing. So this year I want to continue with it, and I really want to actually just grow on what I've started so far. I watched Logan Paul's uh, like 2017 like best year of my life um, vlog thing and it, I watched it and I was like like not many people on YouTube anymore like inspire me and I watched that and I was like wow he proper inspired me to grow and to step up my game in terms of filming and like what I'm doing and I'm not trying to give it away or anything but at the end he was like um 2017 year has been the best year of my life um, and every year I want to say that that year was the best year of my life, and I was like, 2017 has been f terrible, like. <laughs> so yeah, it just kind of inspired me to really, really step up my game and really want 2018 to be the best year of my life so far. So yeah, shout out to you, Logan Paul, for inspiring this this lost little soul at the moment because I'm lost, I'm lost. But I'm gonna get it back in 2018. I actually can't wait for this year to come and for 2017 to be done with. Like, first of all, we just gotta get through January and February, which is, as we know, is just the worst months of the year ever. I'm hoping to migrate at some point within those two months. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I hope it inspires you to create some New Year's resolutions for yourself. I know it's a bit of a cringy subject, but, it just kind of does make me feel a bit more inspired. I know if we really wanted to change, we would change throughout the year, but there's something about the start of a new year and just kind of like wiping the slate clean and really kind of reinventing yourself that I really like the idea of. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe, I would really appreciate it. We're nearly at 500 subscribers, which is just so cool. And I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you did enjoy this video, then give it a little thumbs up and please comment down below what your New Year's resolutions are for 2018. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.